I'm Terry Schmidt. I'm so glad you joined me. If we haven't met before, I'm known as the Practical Management Consultant because I'm passionate about teaching motivated men and women what they need to know and do to succeed in this rapid change world. Over the course of my career, I've helped many thousands of people to be more effective both in private and public sector organizations of all types and sizes in 36 countries worldwide. Along the way, I've discovered what works. So I've made seven statements here. I'll walk you through them so you can evaluate your own values. Now we're not judging whether they're good or bad, just the question of are you getting the maximum benefit from them? So tick off as many points as you can say yes to. Number one, people have read them. Hopefully you all scored that one. If not, you may want to rewrite your resume. Can people recite their essence? Try this at your next staff meeting. Have everyone write a list of the values without looking on the back of their badge. If you have a fair degree of consistency, great. If not, or if major ones are missing, there's some work to be done there on reestablishing the values. Do they really believe in them? Do they feel in their heart and their gut that this is something that's important and we live it? Or is it something that, not us, are you kidding? There's a big difference and people know it between walking the talk and stumbling the mumbling. Do people reference them in their daily work? If fairness is a value, for example, and you're making a decision, do you ask, is this fair to all parties involved? The more the values are referenced at critical points, the more they're ingrained in the culture and the more value they add. Do customers embrace similar values? If customers saw this list, would they say, absolutely, this is the kind of company I want to do business with. At Blizzard, for example, game play first and embrace your inner geek, those excited their clients and they will be loyal long-term customers. Is it measurable and are they measured? If you don't have a way of measuring whether these values are being lived, how can you improve them? How do you know if you're on track or not? So one easy way to measure is actually in this next statement. Do they translate into behaviors? Do people know what this value means and is there an agreement on that? For example, if you have a value of teamwork, what might that mean? Well, it might mean we consult each other on making decisions, we coordinate our schedules, we try to go for consensus. If we have a conflict, we resolve it in fair ways. Whatever the behaviors are associated with that value, make sure everyone's on the same page. It's a great exercise. Identify 10 or 12 specific behaviors that people do, and maybe some behaviors that they would never do, that indicate living this value. Now you can benefit from my expertise by watching my free content-rich video training series. To get started today, simply go to strategicplanningacademy.com, sign in, and you'll receive these videos packed with solid information to help you think bigger, plan smarter, act faster, and get great results. Go there now, and I'll see you soon.